Now I've let this gel dry or cool for 12 hours. It stays hot for a really long time. And the first thing that I want to do is I want to break the seal along the edge. Now I'm using these gloves so I don't mar up or kind of smudge up the surface. Yeah, you can remove that later, but why put the marks on to begin with if you can help it? Once I have broken the seal, then it's kind of time for the trick. And I'm going to be using an air hose to really, very quickly, very easily, remove this gel from the mold. So I'm just taking the nozzle of this air hose and pushing it down in between the gel and the mold, working it along those edges. And that, as you see, really releases that gel very quickly, very easily from the mold. I've seen and heard some folks struggling with this for quite a long time and eventually they get it out but this is so darn easy uh, that uh, I simply wanted to share it with all those others who may be struggling with the same thing. It's pretty much free now and now I'm just kind of muscling it out a little bit. There we have it, the last little bit removed from the mold and we are completely done in 1 minute and 48 seconds. Now we've got some additional videos coming up where we're using this ballistic gel with some handgun bullets, some rifle bullets, so stay tuned.